This is a quick install video of the three-piece method wheels. Now you will need the 1.5 millimeter hex, and then obviously uh, these M2s that actually already come with the wheels. I got these wheels from High Crawler RC, and they are a really good price. So <clears throat> basically, insert the sleeve in any tire of your choice. This is a standard one-inch tire, which is uh, identical to the factory. So you can either go smaller, wider, whatever it may be. And then you just pop the front of the wheel in um, through that sleeve. So this front part is already pinching the front bead. And then if you see from the back, you just simply line up the holes. Um, again, they already come with the hardware. Hardware has already been pre-treaded. Um, but I'm going to recommend that when you guys put these together, and, and you'll hear it snap in the place, tread these things in about 80% uh, before you secure them all. Because if you secure one in all the way, then you could end up with a crooked uh, back plate. So just get the first one treaded. If you see here, I'm using my index finger on the other hand just to kind of hold down the lip so it's not going crooked, keeping everything nice and straight. And then I'm gonna get this first one treaded in about 80%, and then I'm gonna go to the opposite side. Now it's, in theory, a four lug from the back, so you just do a cross pattern when you're tightening it up. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just get this back side screwed in. Again, still supporting the front side because I have it in about 80% of the way. And then I just want to get all my screws in because the screws are going to help set the wheel together, um, pinch everything in there. If you want to add a dab of glue, you can. Um, the wheels do pinch it in there pretty good. I feel like if you were to uh, hold the wheel and then try and turn the tire, she may slide a little bit. Um, I've been driving with these wheels on the vehicle and, and it hasn't been any issue. But again, if you wanna dab it with a little glue, you can. Um, here I'm just showing that little gap that I left, showing that about that 80%. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other two in and then get her tightened up. These are real cool looking wheels. Um, it's based on the method style. And again, these are 3D printed. They're super lightweight, um, which can be good and bad. The tire that I'm actually using is actually a smaller tire. It's a little bit shorter. Um, I like the clearance. I don't get any rubbing when you're under full flex. So I think it's a pretty good uh, wheel overall. So just shooting a different angle for you so you can see, uh, threading in that third one. And um, yeah, it's pinching the tire in there. I've got a little bit of a tighter gap and then I'm gonna put the final screw in there and then we can tighten her all down. These are gonna match really nice. Uh, I'm throwing these on a deadbolt and I've got the Scorpion style front bumper with the gold. I've got the preload spacers with the gold and then I'm throwing in the Emacs servo and I've also have the 3D printed servo tray Again, all those items are available at High Crawler RC. Um, I'll put a link to it if you want to check out some of the uh, some of the 3D printed items. They are made one at a time and put a little love into it. <laughs> so now that I got all of them in, if you see, all I'm doing is securing them all down, um, tightening them up even, and then you've got your wheel. Uh, rinse and repeat three more times, and you roll it. <laughs> 